it is Sunday, so, <clears throat> and it's cold outside. That's froze. Um, I already warmed this up. I'm gonna put that on so the heat can stay in. And I'm gonna go ahead and I actually just bought more. You guys seen that, so I'm trying to eat this up. Probably what I do is I'm gonna freeze that. Psycho, just drip like that. Nope, I'm gonna try it. It said best use by the 30th. The 30th is Monday, so I'm gonna eat out of the day. Yeah, I'm gonna discard it. That's why it's starting to look like that. But you guys seen in the beginning when I made the smoothie, I just bought some um, fresh one. So, yeah, that's it. That when it starts getting like that, I don't like that. But I'm going to go ahead and eat it. Um, I said this guard after tomorrow. And today is the 29th. So, I'm going to... I like the little ones. I don't know what it is about it, but I'm gonna rinse it off. I don't really like the. I don't really like the big um, tomato. Can y'all see me chopping this stuff? All right. Ooh, I'm gonna drop the knife. It's cold outside. Ooh, I gotta turn my fridge down. As you can see, these about the um freeze. Jesus. So I'm gonna put some tomatoes in there. Rinse this off. I'm still, I had like a sinus infection. Um, I went to the hospital last night, sat in there for four hours, and they was like, they don't know if they can treat me because it's probably something something from when I had COVID. But then he was like, um, it's been over 14 days, so we're going to treat you. We're going to treat you. And I was like, what? Um, so he's basically saying I have to go see a... Um, ear and nose throat doctor so tomorrow I have an appointment to get um, my ultrasound done because the first one I missed because I was sick with COVID so I couldn't go to that one so I had to reschedule so that is getting done tomorrow and I'm just going to call my primary care doctor tomorrow because the Hospital already sent their paperwork over, let him know that I was at the emergency room. Um, that's how he got it set up. And it's always been like that. Even when I need testing or something, he would send me there anyways. Um, because he, he uses that hospital for testing. Like, stuff like that. He doesn't do that in his office. So... Yeah, I'm a bit stressed, you guys. It's not from like, um, it's just from me being sick, just battling health issues, um, and catching COVID for the second time. COVID also messes with other things in your body, which, um, the first time it left me with some breathing problems, which I still have. And now, um, the second time just, it didn't help. It didn't make it worse, but it also caused more problems that I'm dealing with. He called it tatium. Tatum. Tatium. Well, the left side, no, the right side of my nostril is swelling. It has like a sinus infection. And um, I have to lay a certain way to be able to breathe. So, man, it only happens at nighttime. Like during the day, I'm stuffy, but in runny nose. But 
at night is when it stops up. Like I can literally feel my nostril swells up and you can actually see in there. Um, I will put a clip in, but I'm doing food, so I'm not gonna put a clip in. That would be disgusting. Um, but my husband actually took a picture of it to show me what the inside of it looked like. I thought it was nasal polyps, um, but it's not. When I Google, I thought it was nasal polyps because those same symptoms, it's the same symptom as nasal polyps, but he was like, it's called tatium. Um, so that'll be something else that I'll be dealing with so I can freaking breathe, y'all. Um, because that dang on COVID crap left me with nosebleeds and blood clots. And now I'm dealing with a this thing called tatium, tatium, whatever it is. I'll put it in the description so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I basically diagnosed myself going there, but I end up, long story short, I I checked in at 4.58 p.m. I checked out at 8 something, and I still haven't seen the doctor. Like, they were so backed up with COVID patients. So I end up leaving y'all and these are the pills that they sent to the pharmacy for me. When I say these pills are so dang on big, these some dang on horse pee. Look how big they are. They want me to take these big old dang on pills. I literally broke them in half like two days after taking these y'all started having chest pains. So I knew they was way too strong for me. So I um, broke them in half. But I did get the medication, but I still have to um, follow up with a doctor. And they didn't make no freaking. She over here picking her some little mini pizzas. I really could be like this. Back in the fridge. Y'all know I like this. Um, cucumber sauce. I like cucumbers. Croutons. I don't have no cucumbers. I buy them as I eat them and I didn't pick up. I didn't even think to pick up any. That's fine. While I was at the store. And I'm going to Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Some blueberry. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Please find this, y'all. I'm a little needy fruit. I'm gonna add some of this soybean oil around the edges. And I'm gonna put, oh, this need to be wiped off. I'm shaking some black pepper. And then I'm gonna take my sand. Look kind of burnt to that. And then it ain't microwave so long. And yeah, that's what I'm having. To
lunch, probably dinner if I don't eat again. I'm sorry, it's so good, I'm good. Get your piece of salmon. Make a salad with it, put it in your salad. Mm, mm, mm. So good.